Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 3. Let's start out talking to Rebecca. What are you working on? Lots of different stuff. If you're going into the field, we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch. Hacking into local security systems won't cut it. Thanks. For what? I don't know. Everything. You've sacrificed a lot for me. You and Sean both. I mean, you upgraded the Animus, you helped train me, pulled me out of that coma. You put all that work into the database, helped me solve Clay's puzzles. I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. You really think we'll finally get some answers down here? Maybe. Talking to the first Civ has always been a pain in the ass, though. Imagine what it must be like for them. What do you mean? They've been separated from us by tens of thousands of years. A completely different language and culture. Possessed of an intelligence vastly superior to our own. We're lucky they've communicated as much as they have. I don't know why they had to make this all so complicated. I mean, if they need something from me, they should just come out and say it. I've been wondering about that myself. I get the sense Juno and Minerva didn't exactly see eye to eye. I'm studying everything I can get my hands on, but maybe you'll find something down here that can shed light on the mystery. What happened between them, and why? What do you think's behind that door? No idea. Do you think it can save us? The first Civ seemed to think so. What if it's dangerous? It's not like we have a lot of alternatives. Well, we could... I don't know, warn the president? And what's he gonna do? Who's to say he isn't in bed with Abstergo? Seems everyone is these days. What if we went to them? To Abstergo, I mean? I thought about it, actually. Showing them what we've seen, trying to work together. They must know so much more than we do, but... What is it? It's possible they know exactly what's going to happen. That they want it to happen. I mean, for all we know, they're hiding out in bunkers right now, waiting for the world to end. And then, when it's all over, out they come. Ready to take control. God, I hope you're wrong. So do I, Rebecca. So do I. Alright, I should be getting back to work. Alright, um... I am going to go talk to my father. Nah, let, let's talk to Sean first, and then my dad. Uh, sure as hell don't want to talk to him after he just punched us. Would you look at that? What is it? If I had to guess, I would say it's a counter. And judging from the iconography, I think it's safe to say when that's emptied, the end begins. What emptied? I have no idea what he's talking about. Maybe the uh, triangle up there? I don't know. Let's see what else he has to say. Hello, Desmond. How's things? Same old. Another day, another ancestor. Who'd have thought you'd have a Templar in your family tree? I think he started out as an assassin. They must have turned him. Right you are, in fact. I've been reviewing our archives, and it appears that Hayden's father was indeed an assassin. Which means he was likely one too, at least for a little while. What else did you find? That fellow from the opera, Reginald Birch, Grand Master of the London Chapter of Templars, he and Haytham's father, a man named Edward, well, they were long-time rivals. Now, it appears Birch got his hands on Haytham at a rather young age. Worked his wiles to convince Haytham to switch sides. Wonder how he did it. I'll see if I can't dig up more. Hon honest answer, please, Desmond. Do you think we're getting out of this alive? I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty tall order. If the first Civ couldn't save the world, how the hell are we supposed to swing it? We have some time. We have less than two months. They had decades and a lot more resources. And the worst part is we knew this was coming for, what, hundreds of years? History repeats, it seems. 
first ship was so busy with their war against us, no one even noticed what was happening. We get advance warning and then fall to fighting with the Templars. Lovely. Hopefully, whatever's behind that door will make a difference. And if it doesn't? Well, at least we tried. True. Back so. to work I go. You should consider doing the same. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go talk to my father. As much as I dread doing that. Let's see what he has to say. Yes? Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. You have more important things to do right now. Jesus, Dad. What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? I know what you've been up to. Nothing. You wasted away in some shitty apartment with a pointless job, while the rest of us were out there fighting to make a difference. <laughs> you are such an asshole. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Because this time, I will hit back. Let's just get back to work, okay? Stop wasting time. <laughs> As far as his dad, um, sure he seems like a bit of an asshole, but I think he means well. Um, I'm going to explore just a little bit, just kind of check out our surroundings, see what's up here. He keeps on walking up here, it's like part of his patrol path or something. Face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. Stairs in a moment and see what's up there. Got something on my finger, I don't know what it is. I think it's a splinter. Anyways. Um can't exactly go up that way. Maybe I can't go upstairs. Try something. No. Let's try this. Ha ha ha. Sweet. We could not meet the sun's cruel embrace. Perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. 
We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. This is interesting hearing about uh, what happened, what they were going through and back then. Looks like that's another uh, receptacle. Looks like nothing back here. Though it does remind me of the uh, Lost Archives from uh, Revelations, uh, one of the DLC packs for it. All right, now I'm going to check your email and then. Uh, Sorry, Desmond, little busy right now. Let's talk later. No, right there. Received messages. Oh um, wow, crap! There's a lot. Oh five. Okay, I'll start at the top. Okay, so I've been in there for like a few days. Um, assassinate while moving uh, one thing I haven't been able to figure out yet is how to pick up weapons in combat like swap a musket for another musket or something like that I, I don't know if it's even possible um, animals are in the game fast travel between fast travel stations um Welcome back. Fully recovered. Ah, so Sean does care. Um, balls. See, I don't know. I have a theory, and I think I'm way off on this, but wouldn't it be interesting if some of them managed to survive in, like, stasis pods or something? Just, like, a handful. Not enough to actually sustain life or whatever, but just enough to pass on some information. I don't know. I think that'd be cool, but I don't think that's the direction they're going in. I have no idea, though. I'm saying that right now. I have absolutely no idea. Um, happy Halloween.
That's <laughs> all right. Uh, hey there, Desmond. You've been in the animus for a few days now, staying on top of your vitals. I can deal with that. Okay, and that's all the uh, mission replay. No. Um, that's it for this part. Uh, thank you all for watching. Sorry it's been a little bit dull, but uh, I did kind of warn you ahead of time. So, anyways, uh, that yeah, I'll see you guys later, and we'll jump into the Animus in the next part.